Cavalcade of America, starring John Lund in The Gift of Johnny Appleseed. Presented by the DuPont Company, this makers is your of outro. better things Broadcast. for better living through chemistry. Good evening. This is Ted Pearson. Tonight, we bring you a story of a young man, Link Barron, and his girl, Sally, and how their lives more than 100 years ago were touched by the legendary Johnny Appleseed. Now, The Gift of Johnny Appleseed, starring John Lund as Link Barron on the DuPont Cavalcade of America. If Adam the soil he'd surely own, he'd think it was the garden he played in when a boy, and straight pronounce it Eden in the state of Illinois. <laughs> That's Link Barron now, tall and clean as a sapling, a man in buckskin who has tramped the meadows and steered a canoe through running waters. He wanders up to the edge of a clearing where the buckeyes drop their white petals. And there he watches another man working his farm. The work is hard and likely to break a man's back. Well, before long, the farmer wipes his brow and speaks to young Link Barron. Howdy, stranger. Howdy. You're new here. Uh-huh. This your land? Every inch. Every inch down to the sycamores on the river and back up to the hills beyond. And your name's Fleming Greenup. You're right as rain. And uh, what might yours be? Link Barron? Barron. Don't know it. I reckon not. I'm from Pennsylvania. Oh, coming here to settle, huh? Nope. I'm going beyond. Got a good stand of corn here. Big and yellow. The finest? I mean to have bigger corn. Better fields. <laughs> There's no rooster control like a young rooster. Maybe, but I mean to have it in Illinois. That's wild new country. There's no fences there. Man can stake his land out to the sky. Yeah, I guess. Well, maybe you'll stay here a spell. No, nope, I'm going on. I could use a man like you to help me with the harvest. I'll have a harvest of my own. Bigger than all this. <laughs> Second crow in a minute. But uh, tell you what, Link... You'll need money for seed. Stay here and help me. You'll have all the money you need. No, sir, Mr. Greenup. I'll work for myself. Like our country lets us. And I'll build a part of it. I brought you and dinner, I... Father. Oh, Sally. Uh, put it down, honey. All right. Oh, uh, Sally, this is Link Barron. Link, and my daughter, Sally. Pleased, pleased to meet you, Miss... I'm... I'm real glad to know you. Uh, that uh, all you come out here for, Sally? What? Oh, oh, yes, Father. Yes, that was all. Your dinner. Well, Link, her hair's near like the yellow corn. And Illinois is to the west. I know. Uh, I can stay a week. Long enough to help you get the fodder in. <laughs> well, good enough, Link Baron. And tonight you'll have supper with us, and after supper, sit by the fire, listen to Sally play the zither, and sing. My mother sang me that song, Miss Sally. 
when I was no higher than the first corn seedlings. It's an old song. Where's your mother now, Link? Dead, Mrs. Greenup. And no father? Killed by Indians in Kentucky. Raised yourself, did you, son? Well, I guess you could call it that, Mr. Greenup. And and you've got no one? Nobody, Miss Sally. And now you got the fever to wander. Well, it's not a fever, Mrs. Greenup. It's the feeling deep inside me to build my own place and clear my own land. I never had anything of my own before. It's good feeling. When I was a stable boy in Pennsylvania, I watched the freighting teams going west. The Concord coaches and the buckboards. The traps and the carts. The Conestoga wagons with their bells ringing from the harness hames. And I asked the people where they were going. And they told me. And where was that? Where the grass is waist high and the earth is black as gunpowder. Illinois. There's plenty land here for them that wants it. There's land up by the fork. And there's apple trees there. Planted by Johnny Appleseed. Who? Who did you say? Johnny Appleseed. He's the man who started all the orchards here about. He wanders over the unsettled country planting apple seeds. Well, maybe he's been to Illinois. Maybe there'll be apple trees there. No, no, that's too far even for him. But not for me. Well, <clears throat> fire's getting low. I think we get some wood. I, I'll help you, Mr. Green. All right, Link. Come ahead. He's tall, straight, ain't he, Sally? Yes. And he's got no family. No. And he looks at you. Oh, don't look back at him, daughter. Don't. Why not? Because he's got the wander fever inside of him. He'll not stay in one place. He's like the wind with no home and no place to rest. He'll find a home. And not keep it, Sally. Oh, a man like that's near death to a woman. You came with father to this place. You came with him when all the land was a forest. Aye, and broke my hand swinging an axe. To build a home. Daughter, look at me. He's not a man for you. There are those hereabouts who want to marry you. I hire. He's got a farm and a house and a new barn. I know all well, that. Well, take that and forget Link Baron. I want you to have all those things I couldn't have. But you've got them now. Yes, when it's too late to enjoy them. You still love Father. And always will. And always will. I love... Field. All right. Mind the first. <laughs> I see him. Yeah, glad to see you, Ike. Yeah, well, I see you got some help. Him? Yeah, a young lad from Pennsylvania. I heard he's been here two weeks now. I'm going on three. A uh, link. A uh, link. Yo. Come on over here. Meet a neighbor. Likely looking youngster. Tall, strong. Does the work of three men. Uh huh. How's Sally? Fine. I'll drop by and see her on my way home. You want me, Mr. Greenup? Uh, Link, this is Ike Hire. Ike, Link Byrne. Oh, I'm happy to be knowing you, Link. I heard a lot about you, Ike. So? Yeah. And I heard you're going west. After a spell. How soon? As soon as we get the harvest in. Uh-huh. Ike, it's almost dark. Uh, why don't you stay for supper? Oh, I might have that, Clem. I might have that. And me and Link can talk about the West and maybe other things. And uh, maybe other things. <laughs> I said I'll match my pair of Morgans against any team in the country. And I did. There's no horses like them in the whole of the land. Uh, you're doing well, Ike. You got nearly everything. Oh, thank you, Mrs. Greenup. 
Yep, like you said, I got nearly everything. And the country's free and open. Free and open, like you said, Link. I remember this Ohio country when I came to it. Uh, you remember, Hannah. Yes, I remember, Flynn. It was free and open, dark and lonely. And we could stand on the highest hill and never see another human. Yeah, but look at it now. All the West will be like this someday. And you aim to help make it that way, eh, Link? That's right. <laughs> Good. <laughs> There'll be those that'll follow. And those that'll go first. It takes men alone to break the country. And women, Hannah. Women like you. No. Hannah. It's so. Aye, that's right. A woman needs a kitchen that's big and already built, like mine. And she needs a big room with lamps and chairs and curtains, like mine. That, uh, depends on the woman. I, I guess it does. Sally, I'll be giving a barn dance Saturday night. The moon will be whole and there'll be cider, and I want you to come. I'll be glad to, I... I want you all to come. And, Link, if you're still here, you can come, too. I'll be here. Uh-huh. Now, uh, sing us a song, Sally. All right, I'll sing you a song. I uh, remember one my mother sang to me. Black, black, black is the color of my true love's tears. Oh, not that song. It's too sad. Sally, not that song. Oh, not that one. I reckon she's singing the song she wants, Ike. looking for you, Sally. Have you, Link? Yeah. I, I'm leaving tomorrow. Oh. Leaving? Well, harvest is in. There's no more reason for me to stay. There's good land above the fork. Father says it's some of the best in the part of the country. There's better to the west. And there's something big and rich in breaking new country. Breaking it for someone else to use? It'll be mine. It could be done here, Link. Maybe, but I've been asking about Johnny Appleseed. Why ask about him? Because I wanted to know, and I found out. Look out the door, Sally. Look at the apple trees, all big with fruit. He planted those, Sally, and people thank him. People who've never seen him. And, and you want to be like him? Well, I figure every man should do his best. Not only for himself, but for those who come after him. And not for those who are here now? It's those who are here now that count the most. Isn't that right, Sally? That's right, Ike. But maybe you wouldn't have had all this if it hadn't been for those who didn't think only of themselves. Well, I got it. There's more than many a man can put his right to. I can't argue with that. <laughs> no, you can. <laughs> but I came over to tell you this cider near the door and food. Help yourself, Link. I was figuring on dancing. Funny, so was I. Miss Sally... I reckon this is my dance with Sally Link. I reckon we'll leave that up to Miss Sally. Sally? This... This is your dance, Ike. <laughs> like I said, help yourself to cider, Link, and all the food you want. Hello, <laughs> oh, Link. Ain't you dancing? No, I guess I'm not. They make a fine couple, don't they, Ike and Sally? Yeah. Ike's a good man. He's got Everything? Everything? I wouldn't say everything, Mr. Greenup. I wouldn't say everything. Yes. You are listening to The Gift of Johnny Appleseed, starring John Lund on the Cavalcade of America, presented by the DuPont Company, makers of better things for better living through chemistry. Link Barron, on his way west, stops at the Greenup farm in Ohio. There he falls in love with Greenup's daughter, Sally. His rival is Ike Heyer. 
Link has nothing but his ambition. Ike has a home, everything to offer Sally. Well, a barn dance is in progress is the second part of our story. Ike! Oh, Ike! Yeah, what, Mark? How about you playing your fiddle for the next day? Yeah, yeah, play for it. All right, all right. Hand me the fiddle and the rust. Yeah, yeah, you are, right. Uh, <laughs> now, what will the tune be? The wind that shakes the barley. Yeah, yeah that's it. All that's right. right. <laughs> Take your partners, get your breath. I'll fiddle till you drop. Ready? One, two. <laughs> Not dancing this one, Sally? No. I... I'm leaving tomorrow, Sally. I know. The harvest is in. There's nothing more for you here, is there? Nothing more. Nothing I can have. Why must you go? I got to. I got to go where I can put my feet on my own land. There's land here. Land for the taking. I don't want it here. Sally, the... There's something inside pushing me. You're like the wind with no home, no place to rest. I'll have a home. You'll have to fight for it. Like your father did here. this valley's already settled. You'll be going into the dark country. I'm not afraid. Are you? I I saw what it did to my mother. It made her gray and broke her hand. It made her strong inside herself. Are you afraid, Sally? Yes. Yes, yes. I see. And we'll talk no more about it. Music stopping. And. Ike. Link. Link, two times you and me just had talk and looked at each other. Now I reckon the time's come for something more than talk and looks. Seems to me you might be right, Ike. I am. A fair fight and loser goes. No, no, no fighting. You two cool off. Mr. Now. Green, up this here's my barn. I'll have who I like in it. There's one that don't belong. That one is me. That's right. I'll give you the chance to go. I'm staying. Sally? No more talk. Stand back, you people. Mike, no, no. He's had his chance, Mr. Greenup. You ready, Baron? I'm ready, Ike. Well, make a circle around him. First one that can't get up no more is a loser. Agreed? Agreed. Agreed. Then start your fight and get it out of your systems. Fight fair and clean. Ready? Go. Stop. Stop. Why must you fight, you men? Let there be peace among you. Johnny. Johnny Appleseed. Put away your anger, friends. I looked for gladness in this place. I heard music across the fields and came to see happiness and hear the laughter. But I see two men in wrath and evil thought. Why must you fight? Johnny Appleseed. You're a Johnny Appleseed. I heard of you. Hey, who hasn't? Where'd you come from this time, Johnny? From the broad rivers and the landings. From the orchards by Blossom Creek. And from the clearings in the military land. From the deer pastures where the Indians hunt. Why, I've heard it told you ran from Mad River to Germantown to warn the settlers about the Indians. Thirty-five miles twixt dark and dawn. But I do, no matter. It's what other men do that's evil that concerns me. For Angle and Ever wither the land in bitterness. You too. Has your anger cooled now, my friends? Aye. You've made me lose it, Johnny Appleseed. And you, Isaac Heyer? I have no anger anymore. Good. And may I rest? Aye, and more. There's food inside it. Come, give me your leather pouch, Johnny Appleseed. And tell us the news. Yes, of the settlements and the people. Here. Here's my bag, Fleming. It's full and heavy. With seed to plant and gold. Gold? You with gold? I take the gold to Jack Payne's mother down the river so she can join her son. Come on, Johnny Appleseed. Rest and tell us the news. Yes, I will tell you the news. I've come from the waters of the Scioto, the Muskingum, from the Great Kanawha, and all in Tanzania. Orchards are grown along the rivers and the fields. The trees I've planted, God's let grow. <laughs> How long will you stay here, Johnny? I must go now. I've seed to plant before the snow. When will you come back? When God wills it. Give me my pouch again, Fleming Greenup. All right, here it is. But, but listen. 
A moment before, there was a sound of gold pieces. Now there's none. Somebody stole the gold from Johnny Appleseed. Oh, no. What? Not even the Indians steal from him. That's right. His horse wandered loose, and they knew it was his and didn't touch it. Who stole the gold? Let him who stole the gold be forgiven. Who stole the gold? There's a man among us who has nothing and who needs everything. Link Barron, you call me a thief? Well, you're a stranger here. None of us would steal from you. Aye, that's true. Well, Link Barron... I didn't steal it. Where's your jacket? When I hung it, when we began to fight. Get it. He wouldn't steal. He's a stranger among us, and he leaves tomorrow. The gold would come in handy to him. Look, here's his jacket. Bring it here. It's uncommon heavy for a jacket. Give it to me. (gasps) The pieces are here, in the stranger's pocket. But I didn't touch the jacket. I hung it there when we started a fight. No one else touched it. Anyone could have. Are you saying one of us would steal from Johnny Appleseed? I say nothing except I didn't steal the gold. Stone him out. Hey, yes. better take our homes and steal yes. from Johnny. Yes, stone him out. Yes. No, wait, wait, wait. Calm yourselves. You've no right to judge this man. Only God has that right. Let him go. No, he's a thief. I'll kill you for saying that. Wait, wait. There's evil in men's hearts, but there is good. And the good sometimes is blinded by the evil and and by the desire of men for things they want. What do you mean? Isaac Heyer and Link Barron, what did they want? I see a girl with corn yellow hair. That has nothing to do with the gold he stole. It has everything to do with the gold. The man who took it didn't need it. What are you talking about? I see many things. Among them, this gold piece. Fleming Greenup, take it. Feel of it. What of it, Johnny Appleseed? What do you see and feel? A powder. A white, sticky powder. Aye, from a fiddler's bow and a fiddler's hands. And is Link Baron the fiddler here? No, but I hire a fiddle. Aye, aye. It was his hands that touched the gold. Ike! He tried to make you think me a thief. He's the one who should be stoned. Yes, stone him, yes. How quickly you change, my friends. No. Let no one be stoned or even judged. For men do strange and even terrible things according to their desires. Thank you, Johnny Appleseed. For what? The truth? That's free to all men. Oh, Link. Link. Sally. Johnny Appleseed. What, Hannah Greenup? He would take my daughter into the dark land to the west. Tell him no. She's not afraid, are you, Sally? Yes, Link. But I will go with you. No. Tell him, Johnny Appleseed. Tell him it's a long, uncertain road. Aye, the future in America is never ending. It's always a long road. But the young make it certain. Do you love him, Sally? Yes. Link Baron, why do you want to go? Because to the west, the land is rich and big, and I want to open the road. Then go. No, no. You can't hold them back, Hannah Greenup. Wait. Here's seed from my pouch. Tiny seed. Now look out in the moonlight at the trees. They were once these seeds, and they sprouted and grew. Do you understand, Hannah Greenup? I understand. Will you give me seeds, Johnny? Gladly. Here. And care for them and look to your soil. Aye, that I will. And someday, when no one remembers the name of Link Barron, people will look at the trees, heavy with fruit. I ask no more than that they also plant, and plant well. Are you ready, Sally? Yes, Link. I'm ready. Will you walk with us? Johnny Appleseed? I'll walk with you as far as the river. And will you see us married? Yes. So come, Link Barron and Sally Greenup. The time grows short and your road is long. And the autumn rains will be our curtains. The autumn leaves the quilt. Goodbye. Goodbye, Sally. Goodbye, Link. Goodbye, Johnny. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye.
DuPont Cavalcade, The Gift of Johnny Appleseed, was adapted for radio by Russell Hughes from the short story, Autumn Rains Were the Curtains, in Walter Habighurst's book, Land of Promise, published by Macmillan. John Lund may currently be seen as star of the Paramount picture, Miss Tatlock's Millions. The part of Sally was played by Elaine Ross. The program was directed by Jack Zoller. Music was composed by Arden Cornwell, conducted by Donald Bryan. Next week, Cavalcade will present an original radio play, Experiment at Monticello, starring the distinguished motion picture actor and star of the current Broadway success, Anne of the Thousand Days, Rex Harrison. Cavalcade of America comes to you each week from the stage of the Long Acre Theater on Broadway in New York and is presented by the DuPont Company of Wilmington, Delaware. This is NBC, the national broadcasting company.